You're reading. Well, I'm boning up on the Constitution in case I ever decide to run for Congress. <laughs> it's Congress, Woody. In colonial times, the S's looked like F's. Oh, well, if I'm elected, that's the first thing I'm gonna change. Yes. <laughs> Woody, I'm sorry. There's one thing I've got to tell you. Listen, you have got to withdraw from the election. What do you mean, Dr. Craig? Well, aside from the nagging feeling that your election might actually mean the extinction of all life as we know it, <laughs> you're just not a politician. Yeah, but you said it would be easy. In fact, you said not being a politician was my hook. I know, Woody. I'm sorry. Listen, I, I shouldn't have led you on. I guess I was just drawn in by the promise of power. Oh, but Dr. Craig... No, Craig. no, no, but Dr. Craig. Now, Woody, just listen to me. Listen, the right to vote is its far too sacred to cheapen by some some vain psychological experiment. I mean, you're winning an election without knowing anything at all about politics. It would just make a mockery of the entire democratic process, would he? You have to withdraw. Well, there's no sense in arguing with you, Dr. Crane. I mean, next to Mr. Clavin, you're the smartest guy I know. Uh... <laughs> well, what about the debate? Uh, they're expecting me to go over there. Woody, you'll just have to make a, a simple speech and gracefully bow out. Oh, well, I guess you're right, Dr. Crane. Got to do what I got to do. It's too bad, though. I was really looking forward to being a good city councilman and working hard to make sure that every person in my district was insured life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs>